to phrase that. It gets pretty chaotic. Yeah. I would totally agree. He's insane. This guy's huge. Yeah. You probably noticed if you're a hardcore KI player, the camera is pulled out a little bit for this guy. Uh, just like Agnos, but not quite as far. And when you stand close to people, you can see how tall he really is because he stands up straight. So you're just a little, little hunched to get close to people when he stands up a little bit straight. He's better posture than I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's huge. Um, even even now his legs are still bad, so he's taller than he even <laughs> yeah. looks here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, huge, huge guy, huge range, um, awesome stuff. Should yeah. we start with movement like we usually do? Yeah, let's do it. So, you know, movement, he has about medium walk speed. I mean, the forward cool. walk speed's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he can get where he needs to get pretty well. Uh, so his dash, his, you know, he has okay dash. Yeah, I like in the back dash to kind of like spinals. Yeah. Uh, it recovers fast enough, but doesn't go very far. So you're probably going to use it to beat uh, meaty throw attempts. Yeah. Uh, and the forward dash is not particularly fast and doesn't go particularly far, but it's not bad either. Uh, it's pretty average. Yeah. Kind of like TJ's maybe. Yeah, this sounds about right. Yeah. And then his jump, uh, slightly high jump. Yeah, he gets up there. Yeah. Uh, and this really helps him control space from the air, which we'll get to when we get to the normals here. Yep. So let's uh, let's go through his normals. Let's, All right. Let's talk about his jabs. Let's do a, a standing light punch. Okay. Do you have control over your character? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me turn on infinite meters real quick before I forget. Do just because we're gonna need them. And then you'll have to turn uh, the player back. Into yeah. Human. We got this. Whoa whoa whoa! That's oh, not God. me. Get me out of here. Oh God. I play on a hori, <laughs> so B is in a different spot. All right. Can you still move around? Nope. Nope. It took it away from you. That's fantastic. Uh, right, because I put you on stand, not human. Yep, makes Reading sense. is, and I hit the wrong B again. Oh, this is a train wreck. Adam. Get no, me out no, of here. Okay. You did it again. Did I? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, it's defaulting it back to that. Yeah, presently. I see. Right. Now can you move? Yeah. Yep. All right, we Woo! got this. All okay. right. So, chainable jabs. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, you got his, his ah. jab there, boom. Uh, let's look at his... Uh, this is good range for a jab. Yeah. And he's a forward medium kick command normal. Yep. Uh, this is important, because this is actually... So you can't get a lot off of his lows. The low threat is very low in this character. I like that. Yeah. The low threat's very but he has, low. But he has very good uh, <laughs> overhead threat right. and throw threat, which we'll get to. Yeah. So, uh, did we show off the, the medium punch and heavy punch chain yet? Oh yeah. So yeah. you can chain. You can't do these on whiff like some characters can, but medium punch, medium punch. Or crouching, medium punch, medium punch. Or you can do medium punch, hard punch. Crouching, medium punch, hard punch. Or hard punch, hard punch. Or hard punch, medium punch. Crouching, hard punch, hard punch. Yeah, so he has all these chains. I wonder if you just looped that, if people would have noticed. That <laughs> you just kept saying the same thing over again. Jump at me real quick, Ramon. <laughs> so you can chain that on anti-air as well. Uh, that would lead to a little more damage on your anti-airs, which is pretty nice. Yeah. So let's show off his light. He too. actually has a light chain combo as well. Right, right. Uh, I'll, I'll show you why this exists in a little bit, but uh, this is kind of a frame trappy frame com uh, train, uh, chain combo. If people mash in between this, they tend to get hit. And you uh, can actually do this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so you want to just show off his throw real quick too? Sure, sure. On his throw, he gives you two quick slashes and launches the end of the air. Back throw is the same deal, he just changes sides first. Uh, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but you can do a lot of cool stuff off of that. Yeah, I feel like there are some cool things that you can maybe do. Uh, but we can get to that later. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> one, one step at a time. Yeah, folks. yeah. So next up, you know, you may notice this on, on, the, on his back. He has this... Uh, yeah, well, like he, whatever. It's just, <laughs> just throwing that no, out there. I just missed the letter. Uh, That's all. Uh -huh. uh, he has a carbine, T-51. <laughs> so uh, let's show that off. Yeah, you, you can see the UI as well. I'm sure you guys noticed uh, yeah. carbine UI, grenades, and there's some weird stuff going on in his health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what button? So in Halo 5. Yeah, in Halo 5, what button shoots? The right trigger shoots. Okay. So what happens when you press the right trigger? What's here? right trigger in KI, though? Is that tells in the game. Travels very quick. It does a ton of damage. There are a ton of uses for it. The problem is you get 18 shots. Yeah. And there, as, as we'll show you, there are so many uses for it that it's kinda, it can be tricky to decide what style you're playing and how to use them. And the worst feeling in the world, as I tweeted earlier, is when you lose the match and you have half a clip left. You're like, no! Yeah. Uh, you'll, but yeah. You'll feel when you waste them. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. But, but when you land those hits, they feel so good. Right. You're like, oh man, the opponent, he just ate like 20%. Damage. And they do heavy single damage on hits, but when you chain them, uh, the scaling kicks in. Yeah. Right? You don't get quite as much. But if you were to hit every single bullet, none of them blocked, none of them missed, um, on a fully healthy opponent, 
and every single one was a first hit, not part of a combo, you'll be very close to killing your opponent. Nice. Not an easy thing to do, obviously, but yeah. yeah. So what else can we do with this thing? Uh, so he has command normals uh, with his gun. Okay. So if you press forward and heavy kick, he does that. So these are going to happen automatically on heavy kick if you're out of ammo. But if you want to use them anyway, if you have ammo, you can do forward hard kick. That's going to be an overhead. Yep. It's a pretty good one, too. The range is not bad at all. Um, what else we got? We got jumping hard kick, jumping forward hard kick. It's like a nice uh, lingering air normal. Stays out for a while. Pretty useful. Yeah. And then he has a crouch heavy kick. And that's an answer. That covers a different spot than this one does. So if he jumps at me from a little closer bomb out of the air with that. You can juggle off that with the gun a little bit too if you have ammo. Scoot down a little and jump at me. Oh, nice. but yeah, you can do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's it for his, his combo. Okay. Uh, so next up is his plasma grenades. Right. So in Halo 5, you press the left bumper to throw grenades. Which, by default in KI, is a shortcut to the three punch buttons together. And it is. So what happens when you press three punch? Oh, that's grenade. convenient. Very convenient. So if you're coming from Halo, you know what button throws grenades there. So th it throws grenades here too. You can modify these a bit. You can do forward. I'm, I'm going to do the neutral one again just to show you how far it goes. It's about that far. If I do forward plus grenades, they go in a lower arc and they go quite a bit farther. And if I do back plus grenades, they go in a higher arc and stay closer to me. So those are some good options for grenade tossing. You can, again, restart training mode to get them back. You can also toss these from the air in all three variations. And yes, you can have another one out of one. They'll slowly recharge on their own. I think about every 12 seconds you get one back. Which sounds like it's forever, but uh, as long as you're smart about these, you'll have them pretty frequently. So what happens if you're near one of these bombs? Right, so just like in Halo, you have to watch out for your own bombs because you blow yourself up. But the bombs are really powerful. They don't do a ton of damage on their own, but they cause a stagger, which gets you easy confirms, and they recap it. So you can for me. Oh, so I get easy confirms off that. So these do take time to recharge if you're noticing the UI there. Yep. Uh, it takes, what, about 12 seconds yeah, or so? Yeah, about 12 seconds. Yeah, and you can only have up to three. So you kind of have to manage this properly to, to be good with them. Uh, there's also another attack that he has. What happens if you press down in 3-punch? Oh yeah, so this is one of his very few defensive techniques. The struggle of this character is definitely that you're very tall, susceptible to a lot of like jumpy offense, and when people get on top of you, it can be pretty tough to get them to go away. So one solution you might have is to detonate a fully cooked grenade in your own face <laughs> by pressing down and 3-punches. Pull yourself up. Does a little damage to you, but like if, if Ramon's harassing me and he's jumping all over me, then whoops, I cop it into it. But blow us both up. It's very important if you are an Arbiter player, when you do this move, you need to quick rise after you knock yeah. yourself down. Because if your opponent quick rises and you don't, uh, they'll get Oki on you. So after you blow yourself up, you can get up quickly. So one thing that you showed that we actually didn't talk about was canceling a normal into the grenade. Yeah, so you're totally free to cancel into these if they were special moves, uh, which is a great way to stick them on people. Um, there's some other neat stuff you can do with that. I'll show you later, maybe, if you're lucky, <laughs> if you're nice. So uh, one of Arbiter's combat traits is uh, the, we call it Combat Evolve. Let me go back one sec. Oh, what? Uh, I'm sure people are, are wondering if you can block these grenades. They're oh. just like cinders. They will stick on you on block, but as long as you're holding back, you don't need it. And it's the same for Arbiter himself. If I'm in range of it, I can just hold back. Just wanted to clarify that. I'm sure somebody was confused. Yeah. So next up is Combat Evolved. Super yes. clever name. Uh, that's for one of his combat traits, which we also call the tack on ability. Tack on. So after a throw or any enemy, you can tack on bullets or a plasma grenade. Okay. So I'll just demonstrate uh, a throw here, I guess. Yeah. And I'm gonna fire the card. Smash hard kick is super easy. That changed my six percent throw into a fifteen percent throw. It's pretty legit. Um, so again, that's a choice you're gonna have to make. Do I want these bullets in neutral? Do I want the heavy damage to punish people from full screen? Or do I want to turn these throws on this thing from a nuisance into serious damage? 8%, percent Pretty significant boost in damage. Um, so and you can do the same with grenade. grenades. Yeah. So I just hit three punches during this, and then automatically. Uh, which will help you with your setups. So instead of knocking the guy down, then putting a grenade out and trying to hope he doesn't squirm around. You just put the grenade on him on the 
way down. He'll wake up with a grenade on him. It's going to blow up even sooner because it's already been on for a couple seconds. It's good. It's really good. So next up we got is one of his first special moves we're going to show. Yay! Uh, quarter circle forward, any punch. But we haven't shown any special moves. <laughs> no, we haven't. So, yeah, I know, right? Uh, that's Mercy's Demise. So it's a very nostalgic lunging rush from the Halo games. Yeah, Heavy will take you full screen. It's got a longer start up. So this is an opener. It's a linker, and it is a hard knockdown. Yeah, so and, uh, and I'll show you, you can tack on after this ender. You can tack on a ball if you want to. Make sure to combo. Oh you, oh, you want me to attack on a bomb and yeah, launch him? Yeah. Okay. Show some swaggy stuff. Sure. <laughs> if I can. Oh, nice. So, yeah, there's a cool loop you can do. You can, uh, and then launch him and attack on another bomb. <laughs> do it again. Yeah, and then you can do it three times if you had three bombs, which is pretty fun. Uh, not the most practical use of your, your grenades, but yeah, still pretty fun. fun. I love this character. Yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> Uh, the Shadow Dash version, uh, basically, he hits you five times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there are some uses for this in neutral, uh, for some confirms and stuff, but for the most part, I think you're going to use this in combos just to grab some damage. Alright, so that's Mercy's Demise. Uh, next up is... Oh yeah, be careful with these. Uh, the very they, are unsafe. Ne they are negative yes. on block. The, the light one is negative, the medium and heavy ones are actually unsafe, so... Yeah. Uh, you're going to want to confirm with these two chains as much as you can, rather than guessing. Because if, if you get blocked, that's trouble. Yep. So next up is Truth Seeker. That's quarter circle back punch. All right. This is an overhead, very long range. Well, depending on which. Yeah. So this is the light version. Yeah. It hits in like 19 or 20 frames or something. It's fast. Yeah. Uh, but again, there's not a lot of low threat, so a lot of people will be stand blocking against this character. Uh, and I, I did want to show you one other thing real quick, um, because we can recapture the grenades, right? Uh, we could do this. So we can turn a low into a combo if our grenade is on at the correct moment. Yep. So we can turn our low threat from poor to very, very high if we can stick people with grenades. So keep that in mind when you're using this character. A lot of overheads you're going to be doing, but if you can stick your grenade, a lot of that can get scarier because you can launch people into the capture if the timing is good. Yeah, you actually would be surprised how many times you land that overhead on people. Yeah. So here's the medium version. It's pretty juicy. And here's the heavy version. This goes pretty far as well. The problem with these moves is because of all the startup, like on the heavier versions, you can get jabbed out. So like if I press a button, I'm gonna press a button, Ramon will block it, and then mash jab. He can just hit me out of this, right? So you have to condition people to stop mashing if you want to use these. But the good news is the heavy version is actually plus, plus three. Uh, the light version is hard to jab out, but it's minus. It's like minus one or something. Uh, so a lot of that, kind of offense you're going to do with this is, is a little risky. People might jab you out, and then if you fall on your back, again, this guy's defense is not the best, not the easiest to manage, so you have to be a little careful. But being plus is really good, because um, you can jump straight into some manuals or frame traps or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's show an ender, attack on ender, using this. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got to show it the linker too, right? And the ender version is a ground bounce, which is great because you can flip them out. Very useful. You want me to do uh, attack on the bullets? Yeah, sure. Or you can do attack on those wall with your nade too. I, yeah. I think you can imagine the setups that you can set. Totally. Right? Uh, shadow <laughs> version. I'm getting into it. Yeah. Oh boy. Shadow <laughs> version has brief projectile invulnerability. Yeah, so go ahead and toss me a fireball, Ramon. It's not the best projectile and vulnerable move in the game, yeah. but it's all right. It'll get you out in a pinch. Yeah. I don't think that's a... Projectiles, we'll see Yeah. if they're a problem. With Usually when Jago throws a fireball <laughs> at me, go ahead and throw a fireball at me. I just do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I use two bullets. I take out the fireball and hit him once. Oh, yeah, big fireball will eat all my bullets. Do you want to do that again? No! <laughs> <laughs> big fireball, one of the new season three abilities for, for Jago. Yeah. Uh, so next up is quarter circle back kick. This is called Prophet's Bane, and this is a stealth command throw. There's the heavy uh, version. Yeah. Far. So the strength changes the distance he goes in. Uh, you can tack on after that as well. Oh yeah, so and you, you definitely wanna... should because the damage on this isn't super high for a command throw, but you're gonna hit people with it a lot. And if you want that extra damage to make it scary, 
pile on some bullets. So Pretty you want to show uh, you want to show the Ender version too? Sure. Yeah. So it's an it's an Ender only special move. So you're not going to be able to use it as a linker. Uh, in combo. This is one of the cool ones. Oh yeah. And then so as you can see, his damage isn't like Omega Fabulous, but it's good. And if you add uh, bullets, if you add carbine shots to the end, it's pretty good. Let's let's show off the shadow version. Oh, the shadow version is crazy. So the shadow version will automatically teleport to your opponent. So he's got that, that full screen range. Yeah. The really cool thing about it is you can hold it for quite a while. I'm gonna hold it for the max duration. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so. What can the opponent do in that situation? People like to try and jump, so they'll get a little squirrely. Like, oh, I'm scared of this. And then I wait till they land and I try and grab them. Yeah. Uh, which I'm successful with like 50% of the time. Isaac's better at it than me. So can uh, Arbiter get hit during that? or? What? You can be hit during the startup, but while he's gone, he's technically invincible. He's technically not there. Okay. Even though you can see a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there is no shadow under version. I make this nope. mistake all the time. I yeah, try to so do it, it doesn't exist. If you do this in a combo, you're just gonna take yourself out of the combo yeah. for a reset. The good it's news is, good. yeah, exactly, you can get a reset off of it, which yeah. is kind of nice. Uh, so, obviously a big thing here, you probably noticed that his health bar is super different than Jago's. Uh, so let's explain that a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. What do you want? What do you want me to show you? Well, what, what, <laughs> is, what is? Yeah, what is that? What, what is uh, this? Well, and that would be his energy shield. Okay. I'm sure, if you've played Halo, you're familiar with the concept of being shielded and having health underneath the shield. Ah, okay. Um, if only there was a way you could fill this energy shield with some kind of Ki Universe energy. I know. Uh, such I, as Shadow Meter. I wonder what happens if you press quarter circle forward and two kicks. Well, first of all, quarter circle forward two kicks is a shadow only move, so fireball kick does nothing. Quarter circle forward kick does nothing. Uh, this is kind of a reversally invincible move. Uh, Jago, go ahead and sweep me and then try and pressure me on wake up. I'm just gonna... Oh, wow, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Oh, nice. So, that knocks people away. It does zero damage, so you're not gonna kill anybody with it, but it does fill the energy shield, which is very good. It's one of his very few defensive moves. You're gonna want to save a lot of meter for that because shield is health. This is real, honest to God, actual bonus health for Arbiter. Um, if Jago comes up and hits me with a medium kick, you can see my shield takes damage. If he hits me with another medium kick, you'll see it depleted my shield and then the remaining damage left went to my character. So first, of, first and foremost, it's actual health. It's not armor, it's not gonna let you like ignore attacks, but it's, it's real health. It's like 25 points of actual health that you can give yourself whenever you want. Uh, if you play this character well, he is the sturdiest character in the game by miles, I think. Uh, even sturdier than a, a smart Jago who can heal. Which is so, very cool. So let's do the shield again. Sure. Uh, and then let's see what happens when Jago throws a fireball. Don't care. Oh. Just walking. That's kind of cool. Yeah, throw another yeah. fireball. Oh, I'm worse. <laughs> do another fireball. <laughs> I love how you committed to yeah. such like a cool sound and then nothing happened yeah. forward. <laughs> yeah, so you can just plow some fireballs. You don't have to care about them at all. So wait, wait. Well, that was too much damage for the Wait, hold on. Do that again. All right. Do the shield. Yep. Throw a bomb on Jago. Okay. And then be really close to him. Yep. Oh, I can man. ignore my own bombs. Okay. And now okay. you start to see where the magic yeah. of Arbiter comes into play and where the chaos comes from. Uh, he'll, you know, grab you and put this on you. Pop this and go for overheads and lows. <laughs> and uh, he doesn't have to care about this explosion at all. Maybe he puts it on you, and right as it's about to explode, he hits you with a command grab, and if you jump out, you get hit anyway. <laughs> or he command grabs you early, and you get a recapture off of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Or a little late, I mean. Yeah, this character is insane. He's awesome. Uh, yeah, so, cool combo. so another thing you can do with the energy shield is you can cancel it after specials, obviously. So you want to do, like, his, uh, his Mercy's Demise. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so, forward punch, yeah. yeah, come out of the corner a bit for me, please. This is something I definitely like to do, because when I'm using grenades, I want to be in on somebody, and getting there traditionally can be a, a little tricky. So I'll put a grenade on them, come in, do that, and then on hit, it extends the combo for me, because the energy shield burst is actually out of range, and makes me recover faster than I would have normally. And then on block, that also keeps me safe, because the, the heavy uh, slash move, Mercy's Demise, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. The heavy Mercy's Demise is pretty unsafe on block, so 
Um, another good use for that, let's say uh, I put the grenade on him and I want to sweep early. That's not going to recapture, it's too early. Um, which means the low threat is kind of isolated to that one moment, right? But if I have uh, this meter, I can do something like that and extend the juggle and keep the person in the air. Alone. You're just showing the juicy stuff. That's right pretty now. juicy. Yeah. So, yeah, something like this. Oh, oh a little early. Yeah. yeah, you can see. I keep in the air long enough that the bomb will explode and give me the recapture and give me the full combo. All right. Uh, once you learn the timings of when the bombs blow up, when the plasma grenades blow up, you're going to be in heaven with this character. Oh, yeah. A Adam. Endless creativity. Adam. Broken? We're, we're done now, right? That's gotta be it? No, there's no, more. No, there's more. Well, it's already broken. No, well, there's more. <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> so, we got instinct mode. Chat has spoken. <laughs> so, instinct mode? Yeah. Uh, activate instinct. It's called judge and executioner. Can you get rid of my shields for me real quick? Oh, yeah. Just punch it sometimes. Thanks. Alright, instinct mode. So, boom. That gives me a full energy shield instantly. And, go ahead and hit me a few times. The shield, if I'm inactive, is going to recharge on its own during instinct mode. You'll probably get one or two full shield, probably like two and a half full shields during instinct mode, depending on how you play. Uh, it's not the most exciting instinct mode uh, by itself, but you are getting free health, and if you have your grenades saved up for when instinct mode starts, you can go wild. Remember that move where he blows up a cooked grenade in his own face? Uh, <laughs> yeah. When you're shielded, pretty good reversal, man. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, and you can cancel into it and also extend combos that way. Uh, there's some neat stuff you can do with that. That I'm sure you guys will find. Uh, you can use it as like a weird fake cancel as long as you're shielded. Just the idea of him just like smashing a grenade into, into his, his own face. face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Afrix is awesome. So, that's actually not all. That's not all. He can do so, one more thing. So, you activate that stuff. Shadow Wind Kick me. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh the worst. Oh, jeez. Right, right. Shadow Wind Kick me. Yeah, we can full parry. Oh, Arbor can parry during <laughs> instinct. You can do it in the air, you can do it on the ground. Uh, and this is like a legit parry. This sends you straight back to neutral. Um, go ahead and give me like a jump pierce. So I can just attack right after that. Whoops. So one thing I like to do is when I have instinct available and I see somebody commit to a jump attack, right. I'll activate and then parry and that then attack. parry that attack yeah, and then go in. Yeah. Yep, it's pretty good. Uh, it's fun. Uh, I'm going to jump at you and try and parry a, a uppercut. Do a, do a Tiger Fury for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's uh, much better defense when he's in instinct mode outside of shield because you can press hard punch and hard kick again to uh, parry attacks. And there's a little recovery if you miss, so be careful, it's not for free. It's not like tapping forward in, in third strike or whatever. Yeah, and uh, I, I mean, I've gotten blown up doing it. Oh, me too. Expecting an attack. It's and, too fun not to try. Right. And then you get blown up, yep. so that's a problem. Uh, so that's Arbiter. There's actually one more thing. Really? There's one more thing. It's not on the list. Uh, I know. What do you want to see? What uh, do you want to see? His taunt. Oh, wait. Before we do that, chat wants to know air parries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just did one. He parried uh, DP in the air and played it. Oh, oh wow. Uh, let's look at it again. There we go. Full punish. Into ground bounce. Into it's flip, flip out. out. Into camera. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just super. I take any opportunity to show them how broken everything is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to make sure we covered this. Makes, yeah, sure, yeah. makes sense. Uh, yeah, sure. But I don't really need to because I'm shielded when I'm in that mode. Oh, go ahead and throw me But one. just do it because it's cool. Yeah. I can do it. <laughs> it ain't no thing. Throw me a shadow one. I'll see if I can do it. I probably can't do it. Oh, I did Oh, it. oh I missed the you, last thing. You got hit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really fun to just play around with. Yeah. Yeah. This character is so cool. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's amazing. He's so fun. So, yeah, let's show off his top. Uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. That's his talk. <laughs> Arbiter angry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, that's that's Arby. This character's a blast. 